Welcome back to my channel. This time I'll be reviewing an older analog camera from Nikon, which is the Nikon F100. This is uh, quite a beast like it is here because I have a battery grip on it. Um, but it's also a very nice camera with a load of features and it's almost a professional camera. It's not rated as such. That was the uh, mm, Nikon F5, which was sort of uh, came out at the same time as this one. I think this came out a bit later and it actually added some features to the F5, which is certainly a, um, a professional camera. But this one can do almost the same thing and uh, I, I love it. I think this is a very nice camera um, to use for analog photography. So uh, let's see what it's all about with this camera. First of all, normally I'm uh, shooting with uh, this lens, a 24 to 120 millimeter zoom lens, uh, which has an aperture of 3.5 to 5.6. It's a pretty fast focusing uh, lens and it's uh, decently sharp, uh, on this camera at least. If you put it on a high resolution modern uh, digital camera, uh, it won't resolve quite, but um, it's very nice on the analog uh, format. So I, I love to use it and it's very versatile. But if I, if I want to make the camera a bit smaller or if I want to get the even more out of focus backgrounds, I use uh, this older Nikon um, 50mm f1.4. It's a fully manual lens, so I have to set focus myself. Of course, I can set the aperture on, on the camera, but, but uh, it's a fully manual uh, lens otherwise. Uh, I love this lens. It's, uh, it's pretty sharp, actually. I tried it on my Hasselblad cameras as well, and it uh, does uh, resolve at least to the 50 megapixel of the 1DX Mark II. Uh, not quite for the X2D's uh, 100 megapixel. So that's the lens setup I have. And if I want to make the camera smaller, um, apart from putting the, the 50 millimeter lens on, I can remove the battery grip, uh, which is very easy. I just turn the knob in the bottom here. So uh, unscrew it, take the, this one out, and then I have an insert here. Uh, for the batteries that just uh, goes directly in here and uh, uh, I have to turn it the right way this way and put batteries in and now the camera is suddenly uh, much smaller and uh, then if I put uh, the small lens on uh, it will become uh, very compact actually and uh, nice to walk around with so see how much that changed the camera now it's a really a portable camera uh, which you can take anywhere. But I, I love to shoot it with the battery grip on. I find that it's very nice that I can take it uh, vertical uh, without um, missing any of the, the buttons that I have on the grip as well. Uh, the same buttons as I have here. Um, so it's uh, very versatile that way. It becomes a bit heavy, just like the uh, uh, contemporary uh, Nikon F5, but um, it can do a lot of stuff. If you turn the camera on, you can see that it has an exposure time of up to one eight thousandth of a second. So that's a pretty professional uh, level. Uh, and it also goes down, it goes all the way to 30 seconds. It has all the shutter speeds that you will need on a camera like this. Another feature is this uh, dial up here, 
with which you can choose the different uh, ways to expose. Uh, right now it's uh, it's set to bracketing. If I want to change it, I have to press this button so I don't change it accidentally. But then I can change to single exposure, to uh, multiple exposures, uh, continuous uh, exposures and sh continuous slow, which is a bit slower. I don't remember the frame per second because I usually don't use it. And you can also set it to timed exposures so you have uh, like 10 seconds to uh, get in front of the camera yourself. Up here you have a selector for the exposure, how do you want the exposure to be measured. Uh, and has three different settings. You can, 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 you can uh, set the diopter. I uh, use glasses normally, but uh, when I'm looking through the camera I don't use glasses, but I can set uh, the diopter here, so I don't need glasses. I have the camera set so that I have to press uh, this button here to uh, set the, uh, the correct focus uh, point or, or to set the focus uh, so it doesn't uh, change when I press the, sh the shutter release button up here. You also have uh, a mode button of course uh, with which you can select between uh, program mode, uh, aperture priority, shutter priority and manual mode. Like all uh, professional, semi-professional cameras, it also has a button for the depth of field, so you can uh, um, you can evaluate your depth of field in, in the image before shooting. And of course, uh, the camera has uh, this uh, button down here on the other side of the lens uh, for manual or continuous or single shot mode for the autofocus. But uh, let's look at some more images uh, from the camera, so you can see what uh, I have done with this. I've only shot uh, black and white so far on this camera, uh, which I have only owned for like a year or two, uh, but I love it a lot. I had an F5 previously, but um, there were some things with that camera that I didn't like, which this actually does better. And that's uh, uh, setting the focus, sorry, setting the aperture on the lens is possible on this camera whereas I got an error when I tried to do it on the F5. And there should be a setting on the F5 that allowed it, but it didn't work. So uh, I, was, I wasn't very happy about the F5 because I like to set the aperture on the lens itself. I got used to that and I do it uh, on my Fuji cameras and I do it on this and I do it uh, when I have my uh, Hasselblad with, uh, with uh, adapted lenses. So I like to use it that way. But let's uh, have a look at some more images.
So I hope you liked the review of the uh, Nikon uh, F100 camera, this uh, old uh, beast of an analog camera that uh, shoots just like the professional F, uh, Nikon F5. Uh, I like to use this camera a lot. Um, it's a very uh, sturdy camera, it's a very fast camera and it has a very fast autofocus and it's also very precise in its autofocus. So I love to shoot with it. Uh, if you liked uh, this video, please uh, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos from my side. So thank you very much for this time and bye for now.